Hello, this is Jacqueline Harris from Jacqueline Harris Wellness. And today I am talking to you if you are feeling exhausted and worn out. When I asked you what the biggest issue was that you were facing, the, the number one issue that came up quite clearly was feeling exhausted and feeling worn out. And there's many statistics that reaffirm this for us. The Sleep Health Foundation say and state that 45% of Australians have poor sleep patterns. 68% of Australians are suffering um, with psychological distress. That's from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. And then 42% of, of women are feeling pushed for time. So I think put all of that together and you can begin to understand why, why we are feeling or why you are feeling so exhausted and worn out. I think it's physical, I think it's emotional, and I think it's mental. There are high work demands, you have high demands with your family, you put high expectations on yourself, and you're trying to keep up with everything. And then at the end of the day, what I find is that even when you are feeling really exhausted, is that you probably don't feel like going to bed early anyway. You probably feel like you finally got some time and therefore stay up doing tasks that just eat away the time. For example, playing on your telephone or something like that. So I don't think it's just as simple as getting good sleep and having early nights, although I do think that's critically important. I think that there are hormonal aspects to this. I think that there are emotional and mental aspects to this. I think that there are physical aspects such as adrenal exhaustion and adrenal fatigue where you're just pushing your body to its limits. There's nutritional aspects. There's thyroid health. There are nutrient deficiencies. There are so many different reasons why women are feeling exhausted and worn out. But we have to begin somewhere. And the very first step that I suggest is that you try and aim for three early nights in a row. An early night is relative to you. But ideally, try and get to bed at 9 o'clock or before 9 o'clock, three nights in a row. If you have little ones that are waking you up through the night, make sure you're going to bed early, even earlier than that three nights in a row. Just allow your body to have some really restorative sleep. The second step that I suggest that you do is to reset, to calm down your internal chatter. And that's because the mental chatter is exhausting. That internal dialogue that's going all of the time of things that you need to be doing and should be doing is totally exhausting. So make sure you are taking some time for things like meditation, um, to clear your mind. It's as simple as focusing on your breath. Take five really slow restorative breaths and see the difference in the internal chatter. And the third step is to slow down and say no. Begin to put some boundaries up and say no to at least one thing. These boundaries is a really important issue when you're feeling exhausted and worn out or if you're on your way to feeling exhausted and worn out. So begin to work on this. Firstly, by slowing down, not taking on so much, saying no to one thing that's easy for you to say no to and pass that task on to somebody else. Begin to set some boundaries. So begin to work on this. It can be simple, but you need to start sometime. So start tonight. If not, plan for tomorrow night's early night today.